Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com and this is lesson 4.2 in our video series. Now we're going to learn how to apply the demand factor to the general lighting load. At the beginning of the program, we learned that it was 3 VAs per square foot and we had to add on the 4,500 VAs for our two small appliance and one laundry circuit. At the beginning of the program, I did not teach you about the demand factor for this because it, it's kind of complicated at face value, especially if you don't know what a demand factor is. But now that we're this far in the program and you are very familiar with using demand factors, I'm going to teach it to you now. And for this one, we're going to head to table 220.42. It's a very important table in our load calculation process. When we get to table 220.42, we always read the black bold heading to make sure that we're in the right table. And it says demand factors for lighting. Now, you can ask the question, if this is the three VAs per square foot, well, it includes receptacles. And you are correct. We are allowed to use this table for commercial lighting or any of the lighting in the following locations that we're getting ready to talk about. But we're also allowed to use it for the entire three VAs per square foot, plus the 4,500 that we tacked on for the two small appliance and one laundry. Using this table, we start on the left-hand side and find our location. The first one we find is dwelling units. Then we're going to find hospitals, hotels and motels, warehouses, and really important down here at the bottom, it says all others. So if it's not listed inside of this type of occupancy, we're going to cross over. And if you look over here down in the bottom right hand, it's at 100% calculation, meaning that there is no demand factor for lighting unless you're one of these specific places that are listed on the left. Then over here across the top, we find our demand factor. In this column, it's the portion of the VAs. And then in this column, it is the demand factor in percentage. We're going to break this down one piece at a time and learn how we apply the demand factor to the three VAs per square foot and the 4,500 VAs for the small appliance and the laundry circuit. Let's get to it. When looking at this table, we're going to see a multi-layer demand factor for dwelling units. Step one, we're going to take the first 3,000 VAs at 100%. Step two, we're going to take in between 3,001 through 120, which is technically just another 117,000 more. And that's how I'm going to refer to it for the rest of the program. We're going to take that percentage at 35%, and then we're going to take anything above and beyond that at 25%. Then step three, we add them back together. We take the original 3,000 that we set to the side. Then we're going to take that new reduced load, add those two together, and that's going to give us our total load. What is the total general lighting load you would calculate for a 1,600 square foot home, including the small appliance circuits and the laundry circuit in a dwelling unit after demand factors? I want to note that on your examination, they will not mention the small appliance and the laundry circuits. You just have to know that anytime you're doing the total general load or you're doing a whole house load calc, you have to tack on that 4,500 VAs. Step one, find our total connected load. We're going to take our 1,600 square foot multiplied by three VAs per square foot, and that equals 4,800 general square foot VAs. Now we need to tack on our 4,500 for our two small appliance and one laundry circuits. Then we take that load and we check for demand factors. We head to table 220.42. We're going to take our first 3,000 at 100%. Then we're going to take that remainder at 35%. Then all we have to do is total the two back together. And we're going to select D. Great job. What is the total general lighting load you would calculate for a 1,200 square foot dwelling unit? Notice that I took out all the pointers that we had in the previous slide. Anytime it asks for the total, you're always going to be applying a demand factor if there is one. And in every one of these type calculations, you're going to have the two small appliance and one laundry circuits. Step one, find the total connected load. We're going to take our 1,200 square feet multiplied by three VAs per square foot, and that's going to give us 3,600 square foot VAs. Now we have to tack on our 4,500 for our two small appliance and one laundry circuit. 3,600 plus 4,500 equals 8,100. Now we check for demand factors. We head to table 220.42. Step one, we're going to minus 3,000 and take it at 100%. Step two, we're going to multiply that by 0.35. All we have to do now is add them back together, and we end up with a new reduced load of 4,785 VAs, and we select A. Great job.
That's the end of lesson 4.2. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock all the quizzes, flashcards, and everything else that comes with the pro version. I offer my coaching 100% for free. All you have to do is email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.